Hello guys, Tree Climber 8 back here. This time I'm going to be doing a computer craft tutorial video, which I hope to make into a series. Down there is my little desert where I'm going to be teaching you all these tutorials. I've kind of been annoyed by snakes a bit lately, but I'll leave those be for now. I'm not, I do not plan to teach you the basics because those you can get from many, many other channels on YouTube. I'm going to be doing some more kind of, I guess, other programming that I guess you have, you'd either have to mess around with to figure out or you can go on Google. But here I plan to show you one of them. This here I'm going to do a simple door lock. So then it's like, it's like the entrance to your base. You don't want to have just like a normal button that people can push. You want to actually have a password door lock. So let's start. First, you want to go into your into the startup program by simply doing edit start up. All right. So first thing you you want to do is you want to do a while loop, I believe it's called. So this is the one that you're going to want to, to do. True. Do. That there will clear the screen. And this one will this one will reset the where the cursor is up to the top. Nope. Nope, not that. There we go. Nope. There we go. So now after we have that done, time to actually get into the program. So we want print these turn. So that command there will tell it to when it starts up, it'll print please enter password. So then, so that's stupid snakes. So that there, that the input equals whatever you put in the screen. So it'll read what you put on the screen, and whatever that is will equal input. So then we want our, our if then loop. So if in input equals test then so that there is saying that if input equals test then it's going to do the following line of code or lines in this case test could be anything that is going to, it's our password so it could be anything make sure you put in the quotation marks though otherwise it would not recognize it as the password as the password just kind of good habit to kind of situate your stuff into different columns if they're in, if they're part of loops. So if the pass if input does equal test, then we'll have it print access printed. Nope, not that one. That one. So that there if if test is what you put in, then it's going to print access granted. Then it's going to what was that? Oh well. Nope. Make sure when you're putting in these redstones set out. You're putting in the redstone command. Make sure that whatever direction you have is in quotation marks, otherwise it will not like that. And will yell at you that you did something wrong. So that there is telling it to send a redstone current out the left side of the computer, which is where I have the door situated. Oh, no teeth there. So that means that it's going to hold the door open for five seconds.
and that there is telling it to close the door after five seconds. So it opens the door for five seconds, then closes it. So that, and now we get into the part where if you don't put in cast, it's going to do this following little bit of code. It's going to tell us that we are denied access to this facility. I have found that if you don't put a sleep command after that, it doesn't like putting up that print access denied. That's so you're going to want to put at least a sleep command after that because otherwise it just kind of skips the that line of code right there. Still operates, just skips that line for some reason or another. So then we're going to end our if then loop. Too far. And now we're going to end the while loop we started up top. So let's see if this works. First, I'm going to kill the snake here that's been annoying me. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, so now back to computer programming. Then you reboot it. Now it starts up. Alright, please enter password. Test. So, see, opens, opens the door for us. And then closes it after five seconds. Then now, uh, if you try putting in something else, like say, I don't know, just random typing on the keyboard and tell us that we're denied access. So that works just fine. It's a really it's a good program, but there is something that we can do to make it better, to make it so that people cannot tamper with it. Because frankly, I can just come up, or someone else who's good at this, can come up, hold down Control T for a second, and terminate our program. And then they can go in to the Edit Startup command and completely edit our program. They can see what we have set as a password here, and they can also see what else we have in here, or if they are feeling, I don't know, like a really douchebag or something, they could completely change this to something else. So I'll get, I'll get into how to fix that, but something else that we can do, because I've noticed that people, well I've found out that people Two people can work on the same computer in here at once. If you don't want someone finding out what your password is, you can do that right there, which will make it so that it, when you input some, it'll put as those little asterisks there. So let's save that, reboot it. So now when we input test, it does that. So, as you can see, it works just fine. But now to get so that people cannot terminate our program. Because that can get really annoying. So up top here, we put in this line of code. OS dot pull event equals OS dot pull event raw. Not raz raw. So that line of code there means that you cannot hit the control T command to terminate the program. And that's I guess what it means to me. Not sure what it actually means. But as you see now, when we reboot it, it works just fine. Comes up, the control T command no longer works. So that there is nice. And we can still enter our test, and we get through the door. So that os.polyvent equals os.polyvent, that there's a really useful line of code, because it means then that people can no longer get into your programs and change them without you knowing about it. Though well, the downside is, that means you can no longer change it, so you're going to want to make sure that your program is how you like it before you put that command up top. Because otherwise, 
there's no way of changing your program short of breaking it like that. So, well, not really break the program, but break the computer. So guys, this has been Tree Climber 8, my first computer craft pro tutorial. Hope you like hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. Please leave in the comments section any others, any other programs you'd like to see me do. I do have a couple others in mind, such as over here I've been working on a tamper-proof password door lock, like the one I just did, but this one's tamper-proof. So, I've been working on that. Hopefully I can find, figure out how to get it to work. So yeah. Thank you guys. I'll see you. See you later. Bye.